Today, we're taking a look at the Velour vs. Venom toy lines, Cobra Slice version 5 from 2004. Stay tuned. Yo, Joe! He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe! Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. He never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe! Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Cobra Slice version 5 from the Velour vs. Venom toy line, which is the 20th series of the G.I. Joe toy line from 2004. Uh, this version of Slice came with, in a two-pack with Agent Jinx, version two of Agent Jinx. Uh, the packaging also included a Velour vs. Venom comic and product catalog and instructions. Uh, Cobra Slice's uh, accessories were a headband, sword, two knives, and instructions. Uh, as you'll notice with this Slice, he is a completely brand new body sculpt. As previous versions of Slice... Uh, was more, looked more ninja. He had a full face mask uh, that was kind of a mesh netting that looked almost metallic. Uh, a red bodysuit uh, in the original. Sometimes it, it, it was different colors throughout the different toy lines. But in this one, Velour versus Venom. It's a brand new sculpt. The version 6 from 2005 was actually almost identical Aside from the date on the bottom of the uh, or the year on the bottom of the foot As you'll notice on this one It is 2004 Hasbro made in China So this is Version 5 and you'll notice I don't have any of the accessories for him That's because I got this guy from a garage sale along with several other toys for my son uh, It was the only actual gi joe in the bunch so i picked him up so let's go over cobra slice my first introduction to cobra uh, to slice was during the early 90s when uh there was a gi joe animated series on fox i believe it was uh in that series slice and dice were a team uh they were always seen together in whatever episodes they were in uh, the main episode that I remember, remember them from was when Cobra attacked a great, an elementary school. In this series, uh, Storm Shadow, who's normally known as a villain in, and works for Cobra, uh, actually turned on Cobra and became a Joe. He had a black and white outfit with a hood, a black mask. Uh, and he was constantly training with Snake Eyes. And I think that would have to be my favorite interpretation. My favorite version of Storm Shadow as well. I just, I always liked that uniform on him. And I did like uh, Slice's uh, uniform at the time as well. Uh, this, as you can see, this one is very different. He's got the padding on there. He's, it kind of looks like he's got maybe Snake Eyes old, I mean not Snake Eyes, but Storm Shadow's old uniform, old Cobra uniform, uh, with a few few additions. He does not have the full, the face mask, the uh, mouthpiece. Instead, he's got goggles on. Uh, he's got the Cobra insignia on his chest. He's got a uh, strap for his uh, sword. Uh, along with a uh, utility belt and some samurai looking armor on the bottom part uh, His His ninja stockings, whatever you want to call them are kind of a uh, Kind of a pea greenish look um, In the camera and in person. It's kind of a tannish uh, same with the padding on his gloves uh, as I said in previous versions of slice 
he did have that full face mask, which I'll show a picture right here. Uh, so we never really got to see what he looked like underneath. Uh, the Dice was very similar, only he had, um, you kind of saw his face, but he had like a claw, very difficult to ex describe. But Dice was purple, uh, sometimes blue, while Slice was red. Uh, Dice used uh, kind of hooked swords, uh, while Slice, I can't remember what weapon he used in that series. Uh, but as you can see here, he's got red stripe down the uh, top of his head. Um, as I said, this is a pretty old figure. I got him from a rummage sale. So he does have some paint bleeding. Uh, standard G.I. Joe articulation. Uh, his head can turn all the way around. You want to be very careful doing that, though. Uh, also, his arms go all the way around. Uh, up that far down. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. Elbow joints. Uh, no wrist articulation. Uh, I think the newer Joes do have wrist articulation. I could be wrong. Uh, but the older lines do not. And it's the same for both uh, both arms. Got waist articulation. And there is a rubber band. It's still in pretty good condition. And then his legs go out about that far. Uh, no thigh swivel. You got knee articulation. No calf or foot swivel. So that's all you get with Cobra Slice. Uh, his padding does kind of come up. It's a, a, a rubbery plastic. Very soft. So it doesn't hinder his movements at all. So there you have it, guys. From 2004. Version 5 Cobra Slice. The 20th G.I. Joe series. Carded in a two-pack with Agent Jinx version 2. Part of the Velour vs. Venom toy line. As I said, he did come with a, hand band, a headband, sword, two knives, and instructions. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon. Take care. <laughs> Fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe American hero. G.I. Joe is there. He never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe.